In a shocking upset, North Carolina lost to Virginia Tech 17 to 10. The saying is that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth, and the Hokies might as well have been Muhammad Ali in his prime with how they opened this game. The Hokies used every ounce of atmosphere and fed off the early momentum, which is to be expected when you're in Lane Stadium. What wasn't expected, however, was the Tar Heels coming out flat and largely uninspiring in what best could be described as an overall lackluster performance. The defense couldn't get off the field on third downs in the first half, with the Hokies converting on six of seven of those downs, including the second Virginia Tech touchdown, where Carolina rushed three defenders and still couldn't cover everyone inside 10 yards. On the first touchdown, where Burmeister scampered in, Carolina failed to get lined up in the secondary, and any fan in this crowd could have scored through that hole. The defense, at the very least, turned it around the second half to give the team some semblance of a chance. The offense just struggled mightily for essentially the entire game. This game was the first test for the outside receivers, and it was not a good showing. You had false starts, drops, balls ripped out for interceptions, and overall little to no separation, which forces Sam Howell to have to try and be Superman for this offense. On the ground, the Hokies hardly had to respect the run game because they knew their defensive line could win with physicality and penetration. 68.7% of UNC's rushing yards in the first half came against a prevent defense play. That's a recipe for disaster. Looking for anything glass half full, there's two positives I'm taking from this game. One, Josh Downs is the real deal. Other playmakers are going to have to step up, but you at the very least know you have a piece there with how dangerous he is out of the slot. The other is that this Carolina defense could use 11 Jaquarius Conleys. The way he tackles in open space is something that has been missing from this Carolina defense for the longest of times. Big picture, the season isn't over, yet it sure feels like the balloon has been popped with the attention this team was coming into the year with. You can't bring your D game on the road in conference play and expect to come out with a win. That's a tough lesson to learn heading back to Chapel Hill. What's worse is that we really won't know how this team responds for another two weeks when a disciplined Virginia team comes to town hungry looking to pull off yet another upset.